Good afternoon. Um, guys, I'm, I'm shocked. This is my first reaction review of a show that I just finished watching. I kid you not. My mind is blown. I'm shocked. I, I don't know what the fuck that I just watched. So, it, you know, my brain was legit fried just watching this show i had to sit down and and just had to go to i had to go i had to go get my dvd i had to go get my dvds so i, I want to present something i can accept miss kobayashi dragon maid i can understand blend s these two shows are really good cafe good shows when it comes to maids when it comes to maids, you know, I get that. I get it. You know, very interesting though, because when it comes to maids, maid cafes, we walk in and just open up where it's just like, you know, you just are beautiful when you walk in and, you know, the girls in, you know, the maid, maid cafe, they're like, thank you, welcome. And you say, master. And they do the classic cute, cute tune with the heart shapes, you know, make you feel better, you make you feel better and lovable, that kind of thing. And everybody has a different type of maids, you know, in the in May cafes, we all had different types of maids. But this right here took everything about make everything we know about and love about May cafes into a gang war. That's what this is. I'm telling you, my mind is blown. But let, let me get right to this review of the this show that I just watched. It's called The Akiba Made War. This is the first episode, guys. Make no mistake, this is shocking to me. So the opening kicks off with just a simple rainy day. Look, there's this maid taking the manager in, and then all of a sudden you got this other maid from a rat from another church shot down the manager. Blood and everything. I kid you not. I I, I was so like, well, what was happening here? And I, I and I thought, I thought this show was just gonna be just your regular maid cafe in terms of comedy, where it's just like, okay, there's make there's different types of maids, you know, going back and forth. Who's gonna who who's gonna have the best sales? That's what I thought. But I did not suspect this. And the opening. Opening blood, guns, knives, not to mention these characters representing this pig cafe. And I'm looking at all these characters and you got one character whose face has not been shown. It's just a scratchy little face. Can't even see what the hell this character is. I'm like, what the hell? Like, who is she? Like, you can see, like, they show all the other characters. Even a panda, who I thought of from Jujutsu Kaisen. A panda, a manager, and a girl who came in a, in a face that we don't even know who the hell she is. But that, but that was in the past. That was like in the 80s. Now we in 19... Now the year is 1999. This is where it takes place right now. The year is now 1999. And the spring of 99, where I was like 8 years old going to 9 years old in the fall. Also, my birthday's on Anime NYC. Which is great because every year, every year Anime NYC is always on my birthday. Props. But anyway, back to what I was saying. So you got this girl... Who goes to Akiba, you know, Akibahara, where it's like the the land of cafe maids, you know. And every cafe maid had a, had a turf. You got one who's the cats, one who's the dogs, one who's the dragon cafe. It's like every cafe, every time you walk, you see people, you see these maids passing out their flyers saying, come to our cafe. Simple. So this new girl dreamed of becoming a maid. Goes to a cafe, a main cafe where they're just they pigs. They got a pig, like the pig ears and the pig bow. And you think to yourself, these are underrated. This is underrated. But you know what? I'm like, why the pig? And I'm kind of like looking back on it. I'm like, because I, I, I'm looking at it from maybe, I, it's a so progressive, I'm just saying. But maybe it has something to do with like Zodiacs. The Chinese Zodiac. Because you know it was like the year the pig is dead last among the Chinese Zodiacs. That's what it is. But that's but I'm going to get to that. But anyway. 
So it's the first time a newcomer, her dreams to become an May Cafe. That was her dream. Now, in the beginning, it did show off her, her debut, saying she's positive. She's 17. She's positive. She got she got two new cafes that she she's hired and introduced and then we introduced two calf two other maids. You got one who's a gal type, and you got one with pigtails. And the manager who's really serious. And then you meet this other woman in her 30s. The same lady that we saw when she sat to see her manager got shot in front of her cold blood. Works with her. The oldest maid ever in their, in their cafe. And she is so strict. She's like, gam, gam, move. I mean, trying to cheer things up. She don't even care. She don't even care. Anyway, now for her first time, you know, the new hire, you know, pretty, you know, she made a few mistakes, especially with the glow sticks, throwing to another spoon, putting ketchup on eggs, spill, all those, she makes these simple, simple mistakes. But there was one I didn't, but then everything gone crazy. I did not see this coming. You got this one guy coming in like an otaku with bags and rope posters and you see this new head trying to serve him but then got all serious and spoke to the manager and the manager got down on her knees strict and then they gave her a task give this letter to the other cafe and the other one and she and the other lady was like i'll go with her so they went to this cafe where it's all bunnies you know just simple Bunny, bunny ear uh, cafes. I mean, bunny ear maids. Okay. And, you know, I thought, and the thing is, they have this symbol, they have this in corn. Well, if it's a pig cafe, it goes oink, oink. If it's a cat cafe, say meow, meow. But then this one is just the bunny say boing, boing, like, a, you know, like rabbit sound, like boing, boing, that kind of thing. As soon as they went inside, oh my God. Oh my God. Everything turned dark. The one of the maids had the had the knife crying like I thought she was gonna cut off her hand, but they cut off her pigtails. Yo, yo. And then she and then you got the bunny girl asking her like, "What are these?" She said, "These are rabbit ears." Then then slap. Oh my god, the slap like this one, and then did it again. I'm like, oh my God. But then it got real personal. It got real shot when she sh sh got, when one of her, the other, the other kid made, came out and just shot right in the head. I'm like, ooh. Guys, the moment I saw that, I freaked the fuck out. I did not see that coming. And again, this was the first episode of Akiba Made War. Am I saying it right? Yeah, Akiba Made War. And I did not suspect that gunshot right in the head. I had a clean shot nonetheless with a revolver. Is this, is, is, are, we, are we serious? Well, uh, am I serious here? I am, I must be joking. They took a simple made anime and made it into a turf war, like some kind of gangster movies you see in Casino. You probably see it in Goodfellas or even The Godfather or anything with gang anything with gangster turf wars like Gangland or something. But damn! Now you know what's fun. You know what I find it funny and deadly at the same time as I watch this towards the end. So you got the pig girl, pigtail girl, singing like yeah yeah boom boom as as she's singing, the pig girl is just monitorizing like just just following the flow it's like watching her killing people and listening to her and someone singing as she going like boom 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 and she is deadly she is dead like boom 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 putting guns out and you got people with these these blades that look like knife sticks that you go to concerts with they have the i mean these glow sticks but they actually like blades like Blades and everything. She's just shooting everything. She is timing the song. She is timing the singing to the to the time she's killing people. That is badass. And then I like what and I, and then towards and then as you see this as you watch this you got the new hire just like phase and shock like I didn't hire for this. 
Uh, I, I didn't accept this role at the May Cafe. My goal is to become a May Cafe. I didn't expect this one. Well, now you know. Remember, you, now you're a 1999 woman. Uh, you deal with this shit. And then I, I like how she did, and I like how this other lady, I like how she handled that other maid. She's like, please forgive me. She double tapped it like some zombie land, like some, like you see in zombie land. Double tap, boom, boom, double tap that shit. <laughs> oh my God, wait a minute. My brain was fucking crazy. I did not suspect that. I, I didn't see that coming. My, I'm, 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 I'm shocked. I, I, again, I'm going back to most copy of Dragon Maid. Like I said, Dragon Maids being all friendly. Blend S, a simple maid cafe working. I get it. But again, it's like of all the maid animes we watch, I didn't expect this to be a deadly shooting battle. Where it's like, where it's like there's pig cafes and there's rabbit cafes and there's cat cafes killing each other one day at a time. I, I feel like imagine yourself. Imagine if you're a customer. And you go to a cafe, a May cafe. You go to a cafe, and they're all nice and sweet and innocent. But at nighttime, like, and then at night when you go home trying to walk, you see them killing each other. And you be like, what the fuck did I, what, what, what's happening here? Is this some, I, I know that some of y'all saying, oh, this is stage play. This is a stage. This is an audience. Oh, I love it. But hell no. If you see it like that, I'm pretty sure you'd be pissed about that. You'd be like, is this real life? That, that's what people will say. Is this real life? <laughs> Holy shit. Who knew that take who knew that a simple made concept will be turning into a turf war? Guys, I need stories on this. I need a storyline on this. Like how the hell this happened? How the hell did did this happen? Like has has, has this been going on since the 80s to the 90s? Has this been going on? Has the turf war the made cafe been going on? I think so. But damn, I didn't expect that. And then the ending, the ending looked like you see in soap operas. I, I don't know. The ending looked like it's in soap operas. It, it, the way how the transition it was, it was that. But other than that, though, the ending, like, it's her first day. I get it. She's a new hire. It's her first day. She's trying to quit. Like, no, you can't leave now because you now join a turf war. You now join a pig cafe and you have to represent that pig cafe meaning you have to go against other cafes out there i mean you took down the rabbits what's next you're gonna take down the dragons you're gonna take down the ox you're gonna take down the tigers like some chinese zodiacs of all may cafes out there and i'll keep up well you better step up but that's how this episode is but overall though guys i understand the hype shows are coming i understand blue lock definitely Spy X Family, uh, Chainsaw Man, To Your Eternity. I understand. Oh, and Mob Psycho Season 3. I understand all those other high... Oh, and one more, Bleach. I forgot, Bleach. But all these hype shows are coming back. But this show right here, this first episode of, of Akiba Made War, yo... I did not suspect this. I didn't see this coming. I didn't even see the trailer, guys. Guys, I didn't even see the trailer. I just saw this first episode and I'm thinking to myself, okay, it can't be that bad. But when something, but when I saw that, yo, I'm telling you, go watch the show. It's like, it's like, Akiba Made War is so good. It's, it's like, I'm, I'm looking back to Black Lagoon. Go If you go watch Black Lagoon, and if you know Revy, Revy from Black Lagoon, the main, the main female character of that show, if you look at her and you see her in a maid outfit, and imagine her in a maid outfit killing people. That's how she, how's how, that's how this other girl was. So you see what I'm getting at? Oh, I'm like, oh my God. I, I'm, I, I never, I'm, I'm looking forward for episode two. If I, if you, there's, there's going to be more bloodshed than this first episode. There's going to be a lot of blood and a lot of torture. And I can't wait to see it. So I look forward for next week's episode of Akiba Made War, and I'm sure you will.